Carrier and load bar maintenance. Inspect every 500 hours. Inspect wheels for freedom of rotation, loose or missing grease fittings, replace if necessary. Inspect wheel bearings for dirt, grease, and grease residue. Inspect every 1,000 hours. Inspect limit switch tripper pin for wear and straightness. Rotate 90 degrees if wear is excessive. Inspect carrier pins for wear and freedom of movement. Chain and trolley maintenance. Inspect every 100 hours. Visually inspect power trolleys for bent or missing brackets. Visually inspect power trolley for freedom of rotation, missing or loose seals, and sufficient lubrication. Inspect every 200 hours. Inspect the cam dog for wear. Inspect every 500 hours. Inspect the chain for corrosion and lack of lubrication. Power and free stops maintenance. Inspect every 100 hours. Check the speed of the stop, one second, adjust flow control valves. Inspect cylinders for leaks and binding rod. Inspect valve for leaks, sticking spool, and burned solenoids. Inspect filter, drain water and replace element as required. Inspect lubricator, fill and adjust flow, one drop per cycle. Inspect and adjust regulator for 60 PSI. Inspect every 1,000 hours. Inspect hoses for chafing. Track switch powered maintenance. Inspect every 100 hours. Check the speed of the switch, 3 to 5 seconds, and adjust flow control valves. Inspect filter, drain water, and replace element as required. Inspect and adjust regulator for 60 PSI. Inspect roller turn rollers for sluggish or frozen bearings. Lubricate or replace is required. Inspect every 500 hours. Inspect tongue blade for wear, alignment, and full rotation. Inspect tongue for sag. It should engage both sides of track flush with riding surface. Track switch, not powered maintenance. Inspect every 500 hours. Inspect sagging and unaligned tongue blade. It should engage both sides of the track, flush with riding surface. Inspect every 1,000 hours. Inspect ease of rotation for tongue blade, releasing binding or replace bearings. No lubrication required. Caterpillar drive maintenance. Inspect every 200 hours. Inspect alignment of drive sheaths and tightness of set screws. Inspect drive belts for wear and proper tension. Replace belts as required. Loosen motor mount bolts and pull motor back to adjust belt tension. Inspect brakes for stopping efficiency and holding. Brake is spring engaged when power is off. Inspect movable frame for alignment and ease of movement. Use pry bar to manually move frame to full travel. Inspect overload limit switch for loose arm and proper relation to actuator. Trip limit switch manually, adjust the arm as required. Inspect every 500 hours. Inspect movable frame rollers for binding. Inspect Caterpillar drive chain for proper lubrication. Lubricate with light oil, not grease is required. Inspect Caterpillar drive chain for wear at rollers and face dogs. Remove and reverse cat chain when dogs show wear. Inspect and adjust cat chain for proper slack. Inspect, replace, or adjust worn backup bar. Inspect backup rollers for wear, ease of rotation, loose seals, and proper adjustment. Lubricate as required. Inspect, reducer for oil leaks and check oil level. Add oil as required. Inspect every 1,000 hours. Inspect worn and unaligned cat chain sprockets. Inspect the take-up sprocket bearings assembly for ease of rotation. Lubricate or replace bearings as required. 
air operated take up maintenance. Inspect every 100 hours. Inspect traction wheel action with chain. If the chain shifts its position vertically, then replace or repair the wheel or bearing assembly. Inspect every 200 hours. Inspect length of travel remaining to the fully extended position. Inspect every 500 hours. Inspect web of I-beam track for scuffing and excessive wear. Inspect limit switch indicating take up fully extended. Actuate manually to check signal. Inspect filter, drain water, and replace element as required. Lubrication unit maintenance. First, routinely check to see that the lubricant being dispensed is hitting the correct spot. Second, clean or replace all lubricant filters every two years or as required. Next, check for visible damage caused by the conveyor or debris that the conveyor may have dragged through the lubricator. Fourth, keep the lubricant reservoir filled. Routine topping off the reservoir prevents automatic shutdown caused by an empty tank. Fifth, Visually inspect detection switches to ensure that they are being activated properly. Next, visually inspect to ensure that all dispensing tube outlets from any one solenoid valve are to be at the same level. This will prevent the lower tubes from dripping. Lastly, keep the dispensing tubes as short as possible. Excessive lengths decrease the lubricant velocity as it leaves the dispensing tube ends and may create a slight tail. Roller turn maintenance. Inspect every 500 hours. Inspect rollers for loose grease seals. Return seals to proper position if required. Inspect roller face for excessive wear or signs of scuffing. Inspect web of I-beam for excessive wear or signs of scuffing. Track wheel turn maintenance. Inspect every 100 hours. Inspect traction wheel action with chain. If chain shift its position vertically, then replace or repair the wheel and or bearing assembly. Track maintenance. Inspect every 1,000 hours. Inspect for excessive peening of flanges of power track and free track at vertical curves. Downhill safety stop maintenance. Inspect every 500 hours. Inspect limit switch arm for proper position and tightness. Reposition and tighten if required. Inspect actuator for freedom of movement. Trip manually lubricant if required. Inspect actuators with tripper pin in position. Adjust limit switch arm as required.